Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to The Last Stand Aftermath on the PlayStation 5. So, happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates it. It's always been one of my favorite holidays. And uh, it's been a few days since we played, so do keep that in mind. And I'm probably a bit rusty. Zombies. Zombies. So, I have learned a few things since, because I've actually been playing the game a little bit. We're just going to open this up. idiots do? <laughs> and then bash these zombies, I think. We do have a good melee weapon. Yeah, we have one that will last, I think. I bet oh, he's we're going to have to kick it. Oh, now the other one It does look like they're looking for Twinkies, huh? Oh, my God. oh we're exhausted. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember how to roll. Circle. Oh, I can't roll because I'm exhausted. I was oh. hitting the right button. Oh, he tripped and fell. Aww. <laughs> Is he dead? That's embarrassing. He tripped and fell and died. Or maybe okay. I, I hit him. I didn't realize how wounded our character is. Yeah. Were we always that bad? Yeah. We're gonna die. Oh, wow. Things are not going great for old Eric. Yeah, things are way worse than I thought they were. Alright, so they didn't come running after us. Now they're coming, though. That one is, because yeah, he never just wanted that guy. Oh, Alright, we're done. Interesting. Is that what they're going for? Yeah. Watch us not be able to get that gun. Yeah, we're not finding anything here yet. There's the gun. Can we grab that, please? Looks like we gotta get over that we first. We'll, we'll go ahead and search this. There's, glass There's a hunting everywhere. rifle here. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of zombies they're over there. Coming for you. Maybe we should be, uh... Sneaky. Sneaky. So we found another shotgun. I don't know how that compares to the current one. We'll have to take a look at that. Because oh, we're definitely at a point... Uh-oh. We're in trouble. That? That's a lot of zombies. That is a lot of zombies. I don't know if they're actually aware of us, though. I think they're vaguely aware. We were kicking stuff. So yeah, maybe we just made just enough sound so they became aware of some sense of us. Crashing through glass cases. Mm-hmm. So we should probably switch to a different melee weapon since this one here is broken and I'm trying to switch to it. Huh. It's broke. Yeah, it's not working. Maybe if I... Well, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. No. Now, I think we can equip it through here, but that's concerning. Why is stuff not working in here? I don't know if you'll be able to equip things through here. Oh, it's just not working at all. Was yeah, that's real. I mean, there's been patches since we last played. They've been consistently patching the game. Did uh, they but break it? yeah, it kind of feels <laughs> like they broke things. All right, so we'll just equip it through here. Uh, but yeah, that's not good. And then we can go and get another pocketable. Equipped. I don't know what we currently have. We got bandages and a med kit. Uh, let's see if there's anything else to get here. Canned fish. We, we got a lot of food. I'm scare everyone away. Look at all this food we got. Let's get rid of some of this. I know that we can clean this contaminated water. I guess we'll keep it. I get rid of the dog food though. You eat it. Let's just get rid of the dog food. Just because we are pretty heavy. Now you always stay heavy. By the way, it seems like you're always encumbered, and there's really not much to be done about that. We'll put the, you want the canned fish, Jinx? No. <laughs> canned meat? With the canned meat, oops. I don't know which is worse. Like, what kind of meat are we talking here? And what kind of fish? Maybe some ham or something, or spam. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to take a look at the, the differences between the guns. Oh, it's working now. Okay, it's working now. I don't know what was going on there. That's strange. So I just want to see the difference between these two shotguns to see if there is any difference. Because otherwise, fish. there's no reason to keep it, I don't think. So might as well just get rid of it. Uh, so we want to get rid of this one here. Uh, the hunting rifle uses 762 millimeter, so we might want to replace that Mac 10 for the, for the rifle, considering the fact we don't really have very many 9 millimeter rounds. But actually, we do now. We must have picked some up. Yeah, we just did. Okay, well, let's go ahead and reload. 
and blast them. Yeah, and then we're going to have to blast these guys. Because there are a lot of them. And yeah, those guys are definitely aware <laughs> of us now. So you can see them going through the store ever so slowly. Like they all do the same hand movement. Mm-hmm, the exact same hand movement. So we'll come up behind them here to smack the, the lady. It's like a little Did we hit her? choo-choo train. Yeah, you tell if we hit her. I guess we got her. I don't think there's anyone there, was there? You don't think so? I thought I saw somebody. Maybe I'm imagining things. You're crazy. <laughs> oh. So the sledgehammer does eat up a lot of stamina, which is not surprising. So yeah, we're just doing horribly right now. Good God. Kind of feels like you should put him out of his misery almost. <laughs> a little bit. But if we can get to the wall, then we'll have that unlocked. And then we can just start there next time, which would be really nice. Oh, and we muted. All right, so our choices are the thorns. Protrusions burst forth from your skin, providing a line of revenge for those that attack. Enemy attacks have a chance to cause... Okay, so those would be bleeding if they attack us. Uh, jagged. Yeah, that's another bleeding one. And then Rush, we get some movement speed. I guess that's the best one for us. We'll take that one. I and mean, we don't really run around much, but... Alright, so we'll smack her. I almost feel like we should save this weapon for if we do happen to get to the wall. It's doing it again. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of, uh... It's just broken. I'll take this little pocket knife out. Get up and close and personal with them. Shank somebody. I mean, I, I feel like how much longer should we, we search this place because we're not doing well. And if we want to get to the wall... Are we good to just leave? I know that we have some gas. But I don't know if it's, uh... Enough. We can always use more, I suppose. Yeah, oh, that didn't down. kill. Oh, wow, this person... Oh, I got the pocket knife. Yeah, the pocket knife. <laughs> I was about to say... This character here, this zombie, is not going down. You're just giving him a haircut. Mm-hmm. A bad one. Mm-hmm. All of just trying to give him a trim. They're gonna laugh at him. All gonna laugh at him. Did we'll your the, mom cut your hair? Digging the trash can here. My mom did cut my hair as a kid, and it was awful. <laughs> my mom cut my hair too, but we didn't really do anything fancy with it. You know, we just shaved it off. So. Mine was borderline mullety. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Yeah, mullets are bad. <laughs> I was talking about the zombies, but yeah. I get you, Jinx. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. This level sucks. Let's get mm -hmm. out of here. Although now we can't get to our car. Nope. There's all kinds of buildings here, though. Uh, I think that's the advantage of the strip mall is that there's so many buildings. Although it looks like we can't go into these ones. Okay. They're just there to be in your way. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to have to shoot these guys. And probably that one as well. I can't... We might have already killed that one. I couldn't even tell. Yeah. <laughs> it looked a little deader than normal. Oh, actually, you know what? We want to keep these. I found out what those are for. What? You can actually make something really useful with those. I can't remember what it is now. Oh. What was it? You can make something really good, though. It's really helpful. Oh, we're running low on ammunition, aren't we? All right, so we're going to switch over to the rifle here. We haven't used this yet. We need to save some of this ammunition. Oh, got it reloaded, don't we? We need to save some of this ammunition ammunition for uh, the wall, if we ever get there. I'm starting to think we're not going to ever get there as this character, though. Is the wall bad? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of zombies there. A lot of zombies. You have to fight multiple, like, hordes. Oh, combination lock. So do you have to have the combination already, or...? I guess so. Can't even try it? Locked up. Just try and guess it? Got another battery. There's just so much good stuff here, it's a bummer we gotta leave without finishing the area. But I think this is gonna be all we're gonna be able to do, guys. We'll look over here, and then... I'm hoping they cleared out away from the car, because I really don't want to have to fight all those guys. No, they're all just dancing around it. Like, zombie flash mob. <laughs> Jazz hands, everybody. <laughs> Oh, Lord, look at all these zombies. Yeah, this knife sucks. Yeah. I mean, it's pocket knife. I wasn't expecting anything else from it, but... We're actually running low on the melee weapons when we do have quite a bit of ammunition, so we might want to start shooting a bit more. Uh, let's just get the hell out of here. 
Oh, we got a board. We'll take that. Nice. Actually, no, we're going to repair this real quick. Yeah, I guess we'll just get out of here. We have two fuel. I was hoping to find some fuel here. Ended up not being the case. Okay, so next is the military outpost. I don't think there's any other location we can go to either. Uh, so this one has a herc station and a merchant. I wonder if you can sell gear to them at all. Have we ran into any merchants yet? I don't think I've ever seen a merchant in the game yet. Uh, maybe you just use your supplies though. Like you know how you, you buy the, use the supplies to buy stuff with your new character? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe you just do the same thing. You just give it to an existing character. It's the same guy. Probably not the same guy, <laughs> but... Yeah, we might be able to just bounce right away, but I, I really feel like we should search for some fuel. See if there's any here. Oh, and then also there's the Herc station. That could keep us alive at the wall. So... A lot of zombies. We're gonna have to fight these zombies, Jinx. Uh-oh. They all just, like, perked up. Like, no, no. It feels like I'm not, like... Anything? Oh, he's the one with armor. Oh, he's one of those armor shit. ones. So we'll try and hit some of the other ones. But yeah, the armor ones do take a lot of hits, especially if you don't hit them like I did not there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, we're not doing so well, guys. Well, that guy was easy. Oh, and I reload again. At least this, this gun here doesn't use the ammunition quickly. how their animation looks like they're talking shit the whole time that they're walking towards you. I feel like they are. We just got a grenade, Jinx. I think we have a couple grenades, oh, actually. Yeah. Or maybe we already used it. I don't know. Look at all these grenades we're getting. And that's one of the Sorry. that's one of the nice things about the uh, the soldier characters while, or soldier zombies is that while they do have the armor sometimes you can blow them up. Well, you blow any of the zombies up, but they have grenades. Grenades, Jinx. What MRE do you think we got? I hope chili it's not Chili Mac. Mac. I hope it's not Chili <laughs> Mac, man. I bet it is. That's the last one we need. We found a frying pan. Nice. I gotta bash somebody's head open with a frying pan. Because everybody knows frying pans are awesome. Or at least you know if you've seen that movie. Alright, so we need a new weapon here. I guess we'll get the board out for right Might now. We'll try the frying pan. I guess we could have. Oh. Or we could have busted out the Chili Mac. <laughs> <laughs> that would have worked too. So yeah, they're letting us know our character here is about to die. He is not doing well in health. Oh, I think we need to reload. Get out of the way, crow. <laughs> and my, my vision. There are so many zombies here. He's big fella. Try and kill this guy with the board before it breaks. <laughs> Gotta take so many hits. Oh, we don't need that chem light. We still got a lot of ammunition despite all the shooting I've done. And, and the, the missing I've done. It's nice. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, as you'd expect it to be. Oh, this guy can take a lot of hits, can he? And this thing is vibrating like hell because we're about to die. It's like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> we got no health. Character's just not doing well. His time is almost up. Oh, we got an antiviral. Oh, nice. We should probably use that. Because we should be able to get another one from the Herc station. But I don't think we're going to get to the wall with this character, guys. No. Not because... If we had just... You know, this was the only location we had left, then sure. I guess if we can find some fuel, we could go to the next location and just skip right over to the... The one after that, which would be the wall. But still. Before we go to the merchant, we'll gather everything up. And then probably die. I got a board here. Yeah, we'll gather everything up. And this will get us some supplies. I think that's the best way to go here. We won't do the Herc station yet. Let's see if there's anything over in the back here. We should probably eat a snack, too. Maybe that canned meat that I got. Mm. Yeah, let's eat that canned meat. Yummy. There we go. I'm liking the beef. I'm liking the rifle. Oh, and a board broke. You smacked her weird. 
And I haven't even got a chance yet to show you guys something I learned from your guys' comments, actually. That we can hit zombies while they're down on the ground. Well, that I went stuck cheap. there. Whoa. Well, you know how they're on the ground and I'd have to wait? Mm hmm. Until they got up? up? Yeah, you can do, uh, I think it's R2 and square, and then you smash their head in. Oh, that's not nice. They're trying to eat us, Jinx. Uh, we are surviving. I think you can help with that. He collects things, valuable things. Like, all I'm looking for is, what do you require? Oh, does this cost knowledge? Oh, yep. Alright, well in that case, I don't see us wanting to buy anything from him. He does have really good stuff, including an M16 with the ammunition for it. But yeah, I don't want to use knowledge for this, guys. Why not? What Would do you mean, you why not? Would you rather be smart or well-equipped? <laughs> well, a smart person is technically well-equipped, but... Hmm. Do you think we should do the Herc Station? I kind of yeah. feel like we have to because of our... Our situation. Our situation, yeah. So in that case, we might want to kill all these zombies here. Oh, we're hurting on, on weapons. We'll use the the frying pan for the... For the generator? Yeah, for the generator. Yeah, we'll run over here, see if there's anything to be had. Again, I'm looking for fuel. We have not found fuel yet, guys. So that's a problem, because I won't be able to skip the next location if we don't get some fuel. We'll have to search that location for fuel. It seems like in this run-through, it's been kind of difficult finding fuel. Yeah, a little bit. We've been finding, like, everything else. Eric's just not lucky, I guess. With the gas, yeah. Uh, there's a brick here. Yeah, we'll take that board. We always need more melee weapons. Like, was there a zombie playing the drums? How are we going to use the focus and not hit him? <laughs> you weren't focused enough. Or maybe we did hit him, but it was the armor. I feel kind of like the uh, melee weapon is often better to deal with the, the armor. Until he gets his girlfriend involved. <laughs> Like, that's my man. Alright, so is that everybody? I just wanted to kill them all. So we didn't have to deal with them on the horde. On top of the regular horde. Which is typically a bunch of kids. I think we're good here, guys. So let's go ahead and do the horde. Watch there be a bunch more zombies over here since <laughs> they just spawn randomly. Yeah, is there really no fuel here? Apparently not. Although it is saying there's something over that way, a crafting station. We actually need a crafting station. Did I miss that? Uh, no. It, it was go? probably this. Oh. That's probably what's being pumped up there. Alright. So let's go ahead and summon this horde with our frying pan out. We're gonna muck them up with the frying pan. I'm gonna make some eggs. I don't know if I want this weapon for this horde. I guess it'd be better to shoot over the wall with them, but I, I find I often can't hit them. When they're behind the wall. I have difficulty with it. Alright. Send me the horde. Ta -da. See? Like, I'm not hitting anything. Because the children are too small. Yeah, maybe you can't hit the children. That's cheap. Send the children after you. Okay, so that's not working. Gotta smack them with the prime frying pan. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, we can't even hit him. Alright. Well, they're gonna hit you. Yep. The question is which way is gonna break first? Yeah, the front. I was right. <laughs> we're not gonna live through this. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're about to be eaten. No. Oh, no. Oh, they got us. Eric is dead. I really thought we would make it through there, but there was a lot of bad guys that one. Alright, so, so probably wouldn't, shouldn't have went with the horde. But, that character wasn't going to make it anyway, guys. I can't believe our, our health was so low. I'm a little bit surprised with just how low it was. So we still haven't made it to the wall, which is crazy, because I've already made it to the wall twice in my other playthrough. 
Given it's a lot easier to do it the second time because you can skip things. Which one do we want to go with? I feel like that weapon's really good, but it goes through the ammunition so quick. Yeah, I feel like Carter just has bad posture. So we should be Patricia? Let's be Patricia. I like that gun. And you don't simply find it either. She does have a, have a pretty cool outfit. You like her outfit, mm. Jinx? You like that jacket? I do. And we also have a ton of supplies. I feel like her shoes aren't practical, though. So let's go ahead. Although we should probably take a look and see what's already in the store. I don't know if we bought anything last time. I want to say we did. Uh, maybe not. Okay, so there's nothing over there. Like, is she even wearing socks? Because that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even notice the shoes there. Yeah, that's not good zombie killing shoes at all. Like house slippers. All right, so I think we might want to go with some knowledge uh, or a war hammer. A uh, war hammer. Although that's 200 supplies. Good God. That's expensive. And she's kind of tiny to be swinging around a war hammer. You don't know how strong she is. Well, I kind of do. <laughs> Jinx is like, I've been that small before. I <laughs> could <laughs> swung a, a warhammer. So these are so you'll get these drops where you'll find them out there. And so you have to get this, I think, to find the MAC-10. It is random, though, so... Uh, these here will give you a, a collection of them, like three or so, that you can then go get out of the, the armory. Okay. You can also make it so we get bats out there in the world. Or 45s. Those are always nice. Bats are cool. Mm-hmm. It looks like there's no 9mm ammo here, from what I'm seeing. Which is the ammo we need. Damn. Yeah. Alright, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, we could do this, though, because there is 5.56mm round, so we could do the M16s and start with that. And that would be really helpful to start with that. That might be what we do, actually, guys. Let's get this. And then we'll need to get some, some rounds here. Alright, so we'll come back and maybe get some knowledge as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and first get our M16. So you see that we have three of them. And so that will help addi the additional characters as well that we play as the next ones. Have we been able to do this before? I know we, we had Eric, but did we just not have any any money? Yeah, maybe we didn't have anything. Yeah, must have been that. All right, so nothing else in there. Let's just go ahead and get some more knowledge, guys. And so that's 10 plus knowledge that we can go ahead and spend over here. All right, so we have a total of 38 knowledge. That's no small amount. And we really need to be getting infection resistance. I've been focusing on this and mine, and my characters last a lot longer because of that. And you can keep leveling it up as well. So if we get another 22 knowledge, we can get it to negative 10% infection. Uh, but what I really should have got... And this is what I meant to get here, guys. Bullying? Yes, bullying, Jinx. <laughs> I want to bully people. Is this one. This one is you gain more knowledge points from scavenged knowledge items. Oh. So it's the best thing to kind of invest in. I find. Since, yeah, you know, you have more... Sense. Yeah, you have more knowledge to play around with. Is there really nothing else we can get here? Well, I mean, I guess there's a lot of other stuff we can get. Is there anything we actually want to get? Bolt cutters. Bolt cutters, probably. Yeah, we should probably get bolt cutters. We could also start with more fuel. That's always helpful. Some of these are new. Yeah, there must have been a patch. Because I don't recall there being this line when I was playing before. I don't know. I thought it ended right here at the improvised shotgun. Again, I could be wrong, but... And the beaver bomb also seems new. <laughs> I'm telling you, Jinx. I feel like that's got to be new, though. Yeah, we would have meant we would have mentioned How that. I think. Not mention the beaver bomb. Quick loading. That'd be nice. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of choices here, guys, but I really think the bolt cutter should be the most useful for us right now. Also, you get a trophy for getting that because it's considered maxed out because there's only one, uh, one level for it. So yeah, we spent everything we had, guys. I feel like our characters are better equipped. We have the M16. And hopefully infection rate should be slower. So that our character can last longer. Eric had a real bad time of it, though. Yeah, he did. We started out rough. If you guys remember, you couldn't have forgotten that. Just going around punching zombies. Yeah, we had to fight a bunch of zombies with our hands. He couldn't have lasted long. 
Yeah, I feel like we gained a lot of a lot of infection then, and then also when I didn't know we could leave without fuel. We ran around for a long time, wasting time, precious time. All right, so we're good to go. Let's just go and get all our weapons equipped. We'll start with this one, I suppose. All right, so we're looking for fuel. And so one thing you can do if you really don't need other things, like Eric, for instance, didn't really need a lot of the things we were getting there. Mm -hmm. So one thing we could have done is just kind of beeline to like the question marks and the fuel and stuff. Jesus. <laughs> what, are you using the board? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish I could remember what the infected blood samples give you. It's something good though. I just don't remember what it was. An antiviral. But I remember it being, yes, that's what it was. It's an antiviral. Yeah, grant you an antiviral. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Do some research. These guys have backpacks. Because we're quality scientists here. And so if we had been collecting those, when we go on the Herc station, we could have like gotten more antivirals. And I think that's another key thing. If we're just not getting enough antivirals. And so that is one reason why we're not sticking around as long. Because, man, that stuff kicks your butt. You start losing all your, your max health. But you get big hands. But you get big hands. <laughs> There's that, Jinx. Oh, yeah, we get to do it. Smash. Although I smashed that one's kneecap. <laughs> well, it did the trick. Yeah, the head still blew up. But <laughs> we were actually aiming at the kneecap. If we, you smash we hit the my kneecap, kneecap, my head's going to blow up. I could see that. Oh, we got some supplies. Nice. That'll be helpful for our next character. I'm really set on Patricia making it to the wall, though. I really want her to make it. Her to be the one. I don't even know where her car is. This is up here. I feel like they did a good job of, like, randomizing the levels. Mm-hmm. I feel like the game's a bit dark, and maybe we should turn up the... The brightness. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we could do that. The options. I know some people have mentioned it become, being kind of dark. Is it in here? No. Uh, this is something somebody told me about, where you can have enemy outlines. Mm-hmm. And you can have it where it shows you them when they're, uh, when you're aiming, rather than just doing the focus. We can try that out. See what it looks like. I thought there was always enemy outlines. Well, only when you're doing... Yeah, yeah. But, uh... Like that? Yeah. But the see how it disappeared? Oh, Look at this. Okay. See how it's red now? I see. Normally it only does that when we're in the focus mode. See, we're just gonna try and get past these zombies, if we can, without fighting them. Nope, there's too many. We need the fuel here. And that's the thing, also. It's because of me. I feel the need to fight them all. All the zombies. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. That hey, one looked at me. Let's grab that scrap. Did we search this car thingy over here? Yeah, we, we searched it. Alright, so let's hurry up and get fueled up. I don't know if there's anything else left out here. We could just leave. Uh, there's some there's crafting stations. And yeah, there's one of those boxes. We should definitely get that. Because that'd be more supplies. Can you imagine my joy at finding a box of crafts? How do you get through here? <laughs> you gotta go through the maze. You gotta go this way? Or you just can't. Uh, oh yeah, it's just kind of broken, honestly. Oh, uh, we don't have any batteries. Of course. Damn. I wonder if there's anything over there worth getting. No it doesn't seem like you. it's worth going through all the zombies. Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave. They got some weird zombies going on here. I don't know. Or is they just falling and flipping over? Yeah, I think the they're just falling. Flying in the air. <laughs> nah, they're doing damage to our car. All right, so this is the the current map. It feels like it's longer than previous maps. Uh, I guess we'll go to the gas station. Yeah, we'll go to the gas station here, guys. Man, I bet that zombie did some damage to our car. You're gonna scratch the paint. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there's all kinds of useful like hints on those loading screens you but it loads up so quick well i guess you get the black screen which kind of is strange why not leave the what's the point of having a loading screen if you don't even use it 
I wonder if it sticks up longer when you're on the PS4. Probably. Everything takes longer on the PS4. Very true. I feel like some of those are running zombies. Yeah, I kind of like the, uh, the outline so that you know you're going to hit them. Mm-hmm. So you know you're going to shoot in their general vicinity. Oh. Right, fighting with our fists. Come on, Patricia. Patricia. Got this. <laughs> the power of the beanie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not going to work. We only got a wrench, though. That's it. And this one's just eating all of our hits. Yeah. It's a big boy. He ain't worried about you. Can you even kill these things? Yeah, Jesus look at Christ. You tiny little snake. Uh huh. Man. They're just eating everything I was throwing at it. I guess we can look see what this is. Yeah, we'll take the board. I don't know if there's anything at the gas pumps. You would think maybe some, some gas. Some gas. And just get like a little bit. Kind of want to avoid that big gas. Well, I guess he's just going to explode. We can just stay away from him, I suppose. So we're looking for fuel right now, guys. Let's not run into the... We're not finding any. Ow. Oh. No. Trying to come up behind me. Trying to. Oh! No! <laughs> gonna hug you. <laughs> uh. We got a storm here. We only got 18 hits left on this weapon. Not much, guys. Oh, found a pipe. So yeah, still just looking for some fuel. There's two question marks over that way, so that might be fuel. Is there anything back here besides zombies and hookers? <laughs> zombie <laughs> hookers. <laughs> Man, I bet zombie flesh feels nasty. Oh yeah, because I mean it's it's dead. Like you would think that maybe there would be some heat to it from oh, like the decomposition, that. but mm -hmm. no. Probably just weird and clammy and yuck. Yeah, I'm sure it's pretty gross. Probably how my palms feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got sweaty hands, but they're <laughs> freezing cold. Yeah, they're very clammy, guys. It's just clammy hands. She talks about her clammy hands more than I do, though. Because I feel like everyone should know. <laughs> Warn everybody. And you know, bring awareness to clammy hands. It's okay people to suffering have clammy hands. from clammy hands. Just don't hold hands with people. <laughs> <laughs> I still hold Jinx's clammy hands. I won't hold your hand if it's too clammy, though. <laughs> she always gives me a warning, regardless. It's clammy. <laughs> it's a flipper. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ron White. What happened to him? I don't know. I haven't seen a Ron White stand up in a long time. I saw he did an interview on YouTube. I didn't watch on it, YouTube? but I saw I don't know, maybe Joe Rogan? Maybe. I don't know. We're not gonna use that store probably ever unless we're really desperate for equipment, guys. I feel like knowledge is a better... Oh, those zombies were over there doing the dirty. Oh, really? Yeah, we, they all we got catch up them on real something? fast. I'm like, oh. I mean, you guys are free to live. Yeah, live your <laughs> life. I ain't here to judge you. Yep, what is that this is where the fuel's doing? at. Eating? Oh my, that, is, that is not eating. It's eating. It's just not eating what you thought it was eating. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, man. I think it's eating exactly what I thought it was eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is kidding. You said it wasn't eating. It's goblin. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get another weapon out. Get the board out since we got plenty. Look at all these freaking zombies, man. What do, what do people do at Kevin's? It's probably a bar. That's what I would think if I saw Kevin's. I drove by it, I'd think, hey, that's, that's a bar. I mean, they are having a rager. Have we ran past the fuel? So it looks like it's inside Kevin's. Of course it is. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to go in there. And this will likely be the last location that we do, since we are unfortunately out of time. Look at that one. He's all having a really terrible headache, a migraine. I understand that. Whoa, buddy. I think it's Kevin's comments. It doesn't look like a bar, that's for sure. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's not a bar. 
I've been to enough bars to know. But they have gas here, so that I'm very confused. I mean, but anybody could have brought the gas here. True. Uh, there's two more things in this location. This will be one of them. Er, no, that's not one of them. Alright, we're in a fist fight, guys. <laughs> I'm just punching windows. Just angry. I hate windows. <laughs> Everybody can see you through them. I just like the noise. <laughs> All that smacking, and we didn't kill any of them. Nope. <laughs> Probably because this is These Kevin's boards kink suck. Shot. They want to be oh, hit with boards. <laughs> I've been a bad zombie. <laughs> <laughs> hit me again. <laughs> this video has gone to weird places. I'm feeling weird. <laughs> that always kind of happens late in the series, I noticed. Oh, okay, we can go through this door here. Oh, is this like a bathroom? It's a bathroom. Can I get out of the bathroom? No. This is all weird. Alright, so it wasn't worth going back there. Oh, there's something else here, though. Maybe Get on a zombie? Bored. Oh, that's not what I expected. Well, we got the gasoline. That's what's important. So we can get the hell out of here, guys. We're trying to avoid any more zombies. So let's fill her up. And get the heck out of here. And then get out of here. Oh, we're going to have to fix oh, this no. car. Actually, you know, fix it here. We don't know what we're running into here. Uh-oh. We got this. That zombie's slow. And he's got a headache. Oh, that's because he fell on his head. Uh-huh. I understand that. Oh, that, they're going to oh. run. Oh. oh, no. I did all that fixing. Just yeah. for them to come smack it. <laughs> Damn them. All right, so next is going to be a compound. And then a safe house. I'm glad that I saw the safe house there because I actually wrote a note for me to talk about the safe house. So with that one character, we went to the safe house and then it wasn't safe. And we were wondering why they'd call that a safe house when it didn't have any of the stuff we expected to have. And, and most importantly, it wasn't safe. That's because... That's when we hit that story mission, which we've already done now. That story mission where we had to find what the sound was, and it was that, yeah, you know, that thing that was all covered up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that mission. We ran into that, and then we died. Oh no! Got him. A lot of runners on this one, didn't they? Yeah, all of them. Yeah, Jesus it's Christ! It's a very healthy neighborhood. Yep. Lots of people who like to run. Well, we used all our bullets for that, just about. Yeah, we definitely want that. In fact, we're going to equip that now. It's 45. It is unfortunately damaged, so it's not going to do as much damage as it could do. But still. It'll do a decent amount. So we'll use that instead of the M16. Well, I guess we'll take a look how much bullets we have. We have just the 50. So we'll probably fly through that. Pick up that pocket knife. Uh, we don't have a melee weapon yet. So let's go and equip one of these cruddy pocket knives. Uh, is there anything here? There's gasoline and a bunch of question marks. So we'll take a look. Ah, oh, damn, you know what? We were supposed to... to end the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you say something, Jason? Well, I, I thought you were <laughs> going somewhere. Uh, yeah, I f completely forgot. Which is unfortunate because we just got the 45 and everything is random, so you don't know you're going to get it again. I'll try and just knock this place out real quick. So I'll fill this up. And there is something uh, for crafting over there. God, this pocket knife is horrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. We just chopped his arm off. And apparently that After takes zombies out. Mm-hmm. No, he was down on the ground, Jinx. Just mm -hmm. resting. Sure. Uh-oh. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Patricia. <laughs> I like it. Do we have anything for health? We have a bandage. Is that it? That is all. That clean water. We'll That's use it. Stamina, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. The clean water, stamina. Plus, we can use it to make bandages. That might be a better use of it. We got zombies coming, guys. Maybe she's not wearing a beanie. I think that's her hair. You know what? I think that is her hair. She has a pixie cut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're punching children. Alright, so let's get this place looted. There's four more things left. 
I'm hoping we can find some goodies. And then we'll use that workbench. And uh, see what we can craft. There ain't no goodies here. We found a lot of knowledge. We're up to 17 now. If you value that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you can make something out of a out of a brick. Uh, we can repair this, so we're going to want to do that. Oops. We can make a birthday cake. Uh, craft. Been too long since I played. You're going to make a birthday cake out of a... Yeah. I guess we'll repair this. Why not? We got scrap for it. Like, here, eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to make something out of that. Uh, Zilla's going to make some bandages. I'm telling you, give it a whirl. <laughs> Just try it out. <laughs> Never know. We might like it. Uh, and then we'll make a Molotov, even if they are kind of useless in this particular game. I feel like that just really hurts my feelings about this game. Yeah. the Molotovs. It's like my favorite thing in gaming. All right, so with scrap and tape, what do we make? We make melee parts. Okay. So I think that allows you to, like, uh, to improve things. Like, not, like, fix something that's broken, but actually improve it. So let's try it out with the pipe. And then we get a war pick. Woo, that's nice. Uh-huh. So yeah, we'll uh, use that in a, a horde situation, I suppose. It says there's one more thing over here to find. Oh, damn. These pocket things. knives are horrible. I feel like if I don't kill this one, those other ones will come and then... That one was running from you. He's, he's just like, trying to get away. Just, like, leave me alone. I'm just trying to mind my own business. What is this over here? I don't know. It feels like it should be booby trapped with bombs. It might be. Oh, we using that gun. I don't want to use that. Oh, damn. We never reloaded this. He's going around. Oh. Clever, Jambi. Yeah, he just clever girled us. He tried. I tried smacking that one. It didn't work. <laughs> so the melee is, uh, excuse me, the hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting is a little bit more useful when you know that you can kill them when they're on the ground. Since the, it does seem to knock them on the ground quite often. So with that in mind, it's actually a little bit more useful. And I was thinking. So I could see building a an unarmed character. Yeah, because why not? Could be kind of fun. Just punching zombies. Can you go up the ladder? You cannot. Oh, we got more zombies coming. What the hell? Alright, so we'll loot this real quick. And then we'll use this. See what we can craft. I don't know if we have anything. Yeah, just the stuff I, I believe we already looked at. Yeah. Alright, so really didn't need to come back over here. We did find a few things, but I don't think it was worth the effort, honestly. It was visually interesting. True. So I guess we'll just get out of here. Man, that zombie over there is having a bad day. Got a battery there. It's like, you always fuck everything up. <laughs> Why you gotta be like this? Did we search this house right here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we did. And there's six things in here. We found a hatchet. Yeah, we should search everything here. Found some rounds, which we definitely need. Always need more rounds here. Ooh, bigger zombie over there. We'll try and avoid him. He wants a hug. Oh, and we found fuel. All right, nice I think we needed that. Cool. And a yucky old bed. All right, so they're gonna break through that. There's one more point that we're missing here, but I'm not willing to go look for it, guys. Why does no one ever have sheets on their bed? Because everybody stole the sheets? People who sleep on beds without sheets are psychopaths. All right, so we're going to try and get out of here, guys. Oh, shoot. <sighs> we got to put feeling. Oh, yeah. And there's Jambish. Yep. Come on. Oh, we got a fuel, uh, full tank. Can't fit in. Our car's all damaged from this zombie. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Alright, so let's hurry up and get another weapon equipped. We'll just use this hatchet here. Yeah, we'll use the hatchet. Fix the car. I don't know if we'll get it fixed before that zombie comes and takes a bite out of our biscuits. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> she is hungry. 
Oh, and she got some loot on her. Uh-oh. Hurry. Oh, nine millimeter. Yeah, that's worth it. All right, so we actually can't bring any more fuel because we're completely filled up now. So we'll get to the next level, and uh, that's the safe house. And that's where we will save the game. For really save good. the game at the safe house. Yep. And uh, you guys will be able to see the safe house. So the safe house is everything you'll need, essentially. Uh, so you have both of the type of, uh, you know, workstations, the workbench and the and then the fire. You also have a place to spend your knowledge. There's no zombies because it's in a fence. You can so get the flowers. Whole level is the safe house? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, nice. see, this was not. That one level was not the safe house. Oh, okay. So this is actually safe. This is actually safe. Yeah, you're not I under still threat. I don't trust it. <laughs> and so, yeah, you can sleep, which. I don't know. Can you sleep? Can you have I've never sheets? tried that. I thought it saw the, said that we could sleep there. Maybe not. I don't recall. I've never actually slept before, so. And you can spend your knowledge, which is great, too. You can tell campfire stories. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we can get a med kit. I don't want a med kit, though. Uh, do you remember what all these made? Medicinal herbs. I know this one makes the herbal remedy. We'll get that. We'll get a couple of these, in fact, because these are really good. Okay, can't make anything there. Uh, let's make another Molotov. I guess we can make a bunch of these. We have so much alcohol on us. We did stop at that liquor store. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so that's everything here. I want to eat that blue honey flower. Oh, and we got power here. Oh. I guess we should get resilience, right? I might be a stinky squirrel. <laughs> a stinky squirrel? You mean a skunk? <laughs> It looked like a squirrel. <laughs> uh, we don't have enough knowledge to get that, that one that I wanted to get to increase our the knowledge. The, <laughs> the knowledge retention. I think we're going to wait to get that, guys. I think it would really be worth the effort. And you can see if there's anything we can make here. I don't think so, though. What do you do with electronics? Make bombs? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can make in this game. I like that you also can loot here at the safe house, so they have, like, stuff for you. So there's another advantage of going here. Did we just get enough knowledge? And you can open the doors, too, if you want. Mm. I think we're w short, like, one. Yeah, I believe we're short. Nope, we got it. All right, excellent. All right, so that'll get us more knowledge. That should be useful. All right. Oops, I'm trying to go out the window. Bash through the window. So yeah, we'll be leaving the safe house with a full tank as well. And then yeah, we'll save it at this next place. Even though I said we'd save it here. <laughs> <laughs> so the strip mall or supply cache? Probably a supply cache, right? Although there is more zombies there. True. Oh, and if you... I think it's the same amount of fuel, but you have to stop at that store. At the mm -hmm. very least, stop there. So you could just go to the strip mall and then go straight to the neighborhood. Yeah. Again, it's all the same amount of fuel, but... But man, the supply clashes are, are really useful. We'll go to this one. And we can always just skip the neighborhood if we have the fuel. We got a lot of fuel, guys. So I believe next episode, I feel pretty confident, unless something goes wrong here, that we should have the wall next episode because there's only one location in between us so basically we do this location next one we can probably skip and then we can do the wall it's just really surprising that we've gone this far just to get to the wall yeah uh yeah we'll go ahead and save it here hope you guys did enjoy the episode the extra long episode uh, i guess we got an extra long thanksgiving episode for you uh, if you did make sure you leave a like on it subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment do hope to see you on the next one and thanks for watching